What up squad, it's your boy Stunner Reese and today I'm going to show you how to work the SRT performance pages on the Dodge Hellcat. If you want to get the most comprehensive reviews on the Hellcat, make sure you hit that subscribe button now and turn on the notification so you don't miss a thing. What's up squad, welcome to Stunner Reese Live, the number one YouTube channel for custom cars, parties, car reviews, car shows, travel, and more. So I know there's a million Hellcat owners out there that's seen this and said, hey, I've seen this many times before. There's millions of videos on this same subject. So why are you making another one? Well, I'm not really making this video for the SRT Hellcat owners. I'm making it more for my subscribers. I'm trying to show them what it is and how it is to own a Hellcat. And I promised them that I would take them through some of the Hellcat owner experience. Now, one of the most impressive things to me when I got the Hellcat was this SRT performance page app. And Dodge did a really great job with creating this. It is very comprehensive. It is very easy to use. It's definitely user friendly. I definitely would like to show that and share that with you guys who are not Hellcat owners. Now, the other thing that I'm gonna do for you non-Hellcat owners is show you how the performance page works differently between the red key and the black key. And we're gonna start today with the black. Okay guys, so basically we're gonna go through it right now. Like I told you, we're using a black key right now. I don't know why I can't get focused. But anyway, all right guys, so the car is not started right now at this time. I am just using it in the accessory mode position. But I just wanna show you guys the SRT Pages performance apps. All right, so we are starting at the default. You can see right there, we are using a black key, okay? Now, nobody really cares about the echo, so I already know, but I'm gonna go through it anyway. All right, so power won't allow you to use 700. You can only use the 500. That's in eco mode okay the trans you can't put it in track you cannot put it in sport you can only use it in eco mode paddle shifters eco mode traction street suspension allows you to use track, sport, or street in eco mode, okay? And that's the default mode set up for eco mode. Now, if you wanna go back to your other options, we're still using the black key. Only other thing it lets you really use is what they call the valet mode. Now the valet mode will limit the performance of your vehicle and requires a custom pin code activation and deactivation. Enter valet mode, yes, or cancel. Now I'm not gonna enter this, but basically uh, I'm just gonna tell you guys, in this mode, the car performs like it's a six cylinder. That's about it, it gives you about 300 horsepower doesn't rev fast, doesn't shift quick. I mean, a car won't even burn rubber. This is what you, you know, when you go in the valet, going out to a restaurant, getting the car, leaving the car with a mechanic, anything, leave it in valet mode. That way you don't have to worry about them trying to act crazy in your car. All right, we're going to get out of that. Now, as you can see, we got custom with the black key. Like I said, you can go 500 horsepower transmission, street paddle shifters on. You can turn those on or off. All right, this is in custom mode set up. All right, so power, we're still using the black key. 
So power. Can't use 700. You can only use 500. Trans. Can't use track. You can't use sport. You can only use street. Paddles on. Now I can turn the paddles on or off off and traction now it does allow you and open up the traction to be track which is the least amount of this is track let you know you're in track shows you on the dash sport let you know right there that you're on the sport mode and street Street is, of course, the most traction that you can get. All right, and suspension. Still, with the black key in custom, you do have option to use track, sport, or street. All right, we're going to get out of custom mode. Go back. We're going to go to sport. Again, this is still with the black key. All right, in sport modes. All right, in sport mode, it opens up your power still to only 500. Trans, still only street. Paddle shifters, it only allows you to have the paddle shifters on in sport mode. You cannot turn them off. Traction, I don't know if you guys can see that on the 360, but traction, it can only be in sport. And suspension can only be in sport. That is in sport mode using the black key. All right, we're going to exit out of that. All right, now we're going to go to track. We are still on the black key. All right. Gonna go into it. Okay, track mode using the black key. Still cannot open up the 700, but you can still use the 500. Trans, still only street. This is using the black key. Paddle shifters, on for the track. You cannot turn them off. Traction is on track mode. That means you have the least amount of traction and you're going to get the most tire spin because it's going to try to put it down. And suspension is going to be the sturdiest stiffest suspension for the track all right so that is the performance pages that you have like i said track sport custom and the default and that's all with the black key race options now the race options As you can see, you can set your launch control. Activate launch control. Now, you can actually program what you want your RPMs to launch at. You can go all the way down to 1500, all the way up to 3500. Uh, I've been seeing people uh, that say it operates best between 1500 and 2000 you don't really want to go over 2000 if you're really trying to get a good time because it's just going to spin you can also adjust your shift light now this is kind of dope turn your shift light on here you can oh, let me go back all right, so it says shift light RPM setup right here. And again, this is in your shift light uh, app. You can adjust your shifts at each gear. First gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear. If you want your shift to shift harder at a higher rev, or you can shift, turn them down lower. I'm going to leave mine right where they were at. 6,000 all gears.
Now again, this is still on the black key. All right, and we just want to track mode set up. Now, again, with the black key, it doesn't give you all the options, all the features, but with the red key, you can set this up exactly to your own liking and you know customize it to you. And that's a great job that Dodge did with that. Uh, feature. I love it. I can't wait to get out on the track and test that out. Just a quick recap. SRT, performance pages, app. It's dope. It's dope. And then we just on the black key. I haven't even showed you guys the options with the red key. Alright guys, so get ready for the red key. Let's get it. Alright guys, so for the guys who have Hellcats, Please don't rag me. This is for my subscribers who don't have Hellcats. All right, guys. So now that you've seen the boring 500 horsepower key, it's time for the party key. Yeah, my name's G Herbo. I like nasty girls. I like classy girls. Look face sassy girls. I got ratchet girls. Bossed up bad girls. For yeah. All right, guys. So we back with the party key. That's right. This is the full party, baby. Okay. It's time to party! Same with the red key. Nothing has changed. Uh, still powers on echo, transmission, pedal shifters off, traction is on street, and suspension on street. This is the most safest mode that you can run in with the red key. All right. Next to valet, of course. Valet mode, just like with the black key, uh, you have to enter your code and it will put you down to about 300 horsepower. And this is probably the smartest thing to do if you are leaving your car with a valet or over over the weekend with a mechanic or anything. And even, even I'm going to be honest with you, and uh, I got this from Tall Guy Reviews, even when you are driving in the snow if you consider driving your hellcat in the snow valet mode would probably be the most smartest choice for you to actually drive in all right so we're gonna exit out of that all right so now we're gonna go to before we go to race options we're gonna go to custom up top here all right so as you can see we got the full 700 with the red key. All right. So we are in the custom, not the default echo. Let's just go through this. Okay. So with the red key in the custom mode, we got power. We can get the whole 700 or we can go down to the 500. party key now I don't know if you guys noticed this in custom mode when you put the 500 horsepower it takes away your for your trans it takes away the track and the sport mode and only gives you street okay paddle shifters you can turn your paddle shifters on or off in custom mode traction you can go track sport or street in custom mode and suspension you can go track sport or street all right we're gonna click that back up to the 700 when you click it back up to the 700 it allows you to choose a trans of track sport or street that's only in the 700 option in custom mode and all the other uh, features do open up as well something interesting and I apologize for the soft focus guys but bear with me all right now we're gonna come out of custom 
and we're going to go into sport. All right. Sport. Ooh, looking pretty good, right? You got the red, of course, is the the top three, and these two bottom orange, those are both sports. And the, Oh, I'm sorry. The transmission also is a sport in sport mode. All right, so we're going to open this up. I just like pressing that 700. All right, so 700 is opened up in sport mode. Let's see. If we go down to 500, it takes away the track and the sport option for the transmission. Paddle shifters are on. In sport mode, you don't have the option to turn the paddle shifters off. They stay on. Traction is only in sport mode. You don't have an option to put it in street in sport mode. And suspension is in sport mode as well. That's using the red key in sport mode at 500 horsepower. Now, when you boost it back up to 700, you notice the power goes up, but everything else stays the same. And this is in sport mode using the red key. All right, so red key going to track mode. This is the big daddy of all performance pages. This is the 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 one that you dream of. This is the reason why you buy a Hellcat. You got everything. All right, so we're going to open that up. Okay. Track mode, red key. Of course, you got the full 700 horsepower. Now, you can go down to 500. Now, if you go down to 500, as you can see, you don't have the option. Even if you're in track mode, you don't have an option for the track trans. That only operates at the 700 horsepower. Or you don't have option for the sports trans. That only operates at the 700 horsepower using the red key. And once again, I apologize for the soft focus, guys. But it is what it is. All right. So track mode, trans, we using we at the 500. All right. So paddle shifters are on in track mode using the uh, 500 horsepower. Traction is unleashed at track mode and suspension is stiff as hell on track mode. So we're going to kick it back up to the 700 in track mode. Of course, track mode, we got trans on track only, paddles on track only, traction on track only, and suspension on track only. That is a full, full blast, fun roller coaster ride of your life right there. Unreal. Unbelievable. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Now, there's a couple more things uh, that I want to show you guys. I'm going to be going over the launch control feature, which this car has. But I'll do that one day when I'm actually out on the street driving. And I'll show you how that works. Let me just say, for instance, I just had on the radio. And I'll pull up to a light. And I didn't feel like going through apps and then going through everything. I could just go down here and just simply hit the SRT page and it pulls right up right there a lot quicker to my performance pages. I could just hit track, boom, and it's done. Race options. Turn that off before they copyright me. All right, so race options uh, in the launch control you can again just like i showed you with the black key you can adjust your rev limiter uh shift light activate your launch control all right from the launch control button and the race options all right squad so i hope you enjoyed this upload thank you once again man definitely if it's your first time checking in to stunner Reads live make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications man so you know every time your boy post a video all right so you can get the most comprehensive hellcat reviews on the planet all right 
That's what it is, man. It's your boy Stunner Reese, man. Check it out. And you watching Stunner Reese Live. Peace. I'm gone. Do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Take a ride with me. And watch all my videos below. And thanks. And you watching Stunner Reese Live.